I was like, no sudden movements and we're just no. going to be okay. <laughs> Do not move your head extravagantly. I can't have like a really hard laugh at any point during this either because it's going to like fly off or who knows. Who knows, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Who knows? Jack Ryan's trying to figure out how he can like come across the bed. He, I don't know what it is. Like all of a sudden he knows I'm recording and he's like, I got to go see mom. Doesn't I care must. about me all day. Nope. I must see what you're doing immediately. Although, if all of a sudden this thing starts shaking, it's because he jumped up onto a little table thing. That's come so visit people. It's a kitty couture show. You gotta come on. Yeah, exactly. No, come back. Oh, he, now he ran so fun. Now, now he ran Thanks, away. <laughs> so funny. Are we pushing live? Is it happening? It is like oh yeah, we're live. Oh good to Julie's here. Bree is here. And the the comments have not gone over. There, there go. they okay. are. <laughs> I was like, I don't see anybody. <laughs> Julie's here. Hi, how are you? Hey, <laughs> and Bree. Hi, Bree. Hey, how Bree. are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna do um, a shameless plug for Bree uh, on her channel. She is hosting um, a Halloween readathon, so oh. you definitely need to go check that out. It's is it like a Halloweenathon. scary readathon, or is it something that I can like read and still sleep at night? Because <laughs> this is the key. <laughs> Hi, Bianca. Yeah, there are some prompts where it's like you have to read like some like spooky stuff, but honestly, it's, it's, I don't think so. I think you'd be fine. Yes to the crowds. You got yeah. it. <laughs> feel like royalty. Let me tell you, if you ever want to feel like extra special, just have a crown. <laughs> just have your favorite author send you a crown and call you a queen. That's really all you got to do. But Hello? also be prepared to like, you I know, weight train you your head because these see. things, like royalty, they've got it hard, friends. <laughs> It's cutting in and out for you. Oh, oh no. no. How's the connection for everybody else? Oh, also, before we get too far, thank you for being here today. I told you thank we had to do that. You. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the last of it. Actually, it's probably not, but. <laughs> it's probably not. I mean, honestly, this crown, like, fits my head, like, perfectly. And like I was telling Jen, it fits on my bun so perfect. So I'm excited Maybe about it. Maybe I should it. do a bun next time. I don't know. I tried to curl it, which you can't really tell because it's a dark background, so my bad. <laughs> I promise there was effort that went into that. <laughs> I, you know, I did try to look presentable today, so. <laughs> oh, that, that was so secret. fun. <laughs> and then oh, our, um, oh, here we go. Yes, perfect. And there's awesome. more people. Okay, I see more people. And then, yeah. you, I don't know where we go, but yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing oh, well. Perfect. Good evening. Hi, Shannon. I, I am Brie, by the way. <laughs> Come Crowds, on, Nicole. Yes. I said Brie. Oh, oh, my bad. I think she was telling everybody in the comments. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. okay. Yes. Black -a -a -thon. Uh There's also a Twitter. Go definitely check oh, that out. Yeah. Hi, Deja. How are you? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's Kim. It's Kim, this right? Kim. This yes. is Kim. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Who's it's okay not, now that there's an earthquake? There was an earthquake last week, but she assured us she was fine. But at the same time, it was like, what, a three point something? That was terrifying. Terrifying. It's not <laughs> see, the readathon's not scary. Okay. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> it's skipping. Okay, it's skipping for Julie. It's very Disney scary. <laughs> I can handle Disney scary. <laughs> so you're saying hi. Hi, Crowds hi. Are, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shannon. I'm starting at my laptop. Okay. You okay, know, I was you. watching, I was watching India's live stream earlier on the YouTube app on my phone and it was skipping as well. So maybe your laptop will have better um, connection. Saw we internet's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. Especially these <laughs> days when everyone's on it. Everyone's taking the bandwidth. Don't they know that we have a presentation to our royal subjects? A royal subject. <laughs> You guys are all royalty too. I didn't mean that in like you're a peasants type way. You're above the peasants. <laughs> you're above the peasants. Anyone who doesn't like Julie and Lindsay, they are the peasants. We'll they put are. them in the, the gutters. <laughs> they are the peasants. Oh, no, but, oh, God. I love the what? I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> She, <laughs> Brie also does really great uh, bookish TikToks too. Oh my gosh. Oh. If you follow her on Twitter or on Instagram, she puts it on there and they are 
so funny. Oh my gosh, I die laughing. We have a dog it's behind me. you, by the way. Puppy. Which made me think of the um from Teen Wolf. There's someone behind you. <laughs> oh yeah, I know when they were, they were chatting in season one. I legit told my mom I needed to be home. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, here we go. Let's see if I can get my little prints up here. Ooh, don't, don't bite me. Well, thank you so much for working so hard to get here, Deja. I really appreciate you. Say hi, Jack. Oh, look at Jack. He's <laughs> boy. Okay, he's going to go run now. Where like, okay, that's, that's oh, enough. I was like, is he going to lay that's on me? Enough. I feel chosen. But I'm like, it was 110 today, so I don't blame him if he just wants to. No, you don't get to have the wine, buddy. <laughs> Oh no, it says we're frozen and spinning. I don't know what to oh, it do. Went away. And we I was like, we can't stop and start it again, can we? No, because no. it does a thing. Oh no. I mean, this no. is so crazy because I have YouTube up on the side over here and it's uh, it's still going for us. Oh, thanks. He's a little turd. Or as I like to call him, a little terrorist. <laughs> You know, and Jack Ryan okay, to, great. to hunt the terrorists, but you know, Jack Ryan is one, especially to his <laughs> sister. Oh yeah. He is. He's a little terror. Let me tell you. But he is the cutest little terror there ever was. You can't be too mad at that face, especially nope. when he flips upside down. Cause then he has a little smiley face. Like if any of you follow me on my, um, Oh gosh, three, six, five for Instagram. Hold tight, hold tight. Cause yesterday I think I, Post a picture of him. There it is. Hold on. He's the cutest thing. He's so cute. Because look, and then he had his little paw in a position that made it look like he was just, oh, focus. Don't be blown out. But see, look, he smiles. Oh. He's got a little hand on his thing. Yeah, it's too bright. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> gotta be cute if you're a spy. No one would suspect. <laughs> no, no one would question. No one would question anything. Like this way, sir. This way. <laughs> Speaking of a good-looking man, let me just start with uh, Detective Jack Oliver in a suit. I was just like, all of a sudden, wanted to like freaking. Ooh. I couldn't handle my life. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, as soon as I read that, I, I immediately mean, was like, I need to go watch Kingsman. But then I'm saving that for tomorrow. Because tomorrow was actually supposed to be the Kingsman release. Oh, and then yes. they pushed that back for, what, a freaking third time? I remember that. I remember. Yes. So yeah, they pushed it back. Thing. They pushed it back so far. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> all the Japs are cute. Right? Yeah, they are. Especially the um, Jack Ryan from Amazon. Yes. John John Krasinski, is that how you say John his name? John Krasinski. Yep. I got it. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're we're gonna try to uh muddle our way through this with any technical difficulties. <laughs> Hopefully it was just like a first start type thing. Like people are home at six, dinner's done. Maybe everyone's trying to get on to see us and our beauty. <laughs> Right? Everyone's like, we must watch the discussion for Cat Got Your Secrets. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Marie's got a secret. She's in a mask. Oh, no. Oh, but, yeah. No. I got, got one, it. too. But how? Ooh, ooh. Oh, wrong way. I know. We're like, where's the finder? <laughs> <laughs> I love this cover so much. I think if I had to pick my favorite covers, it would be the audiobook covers, these yeah. little Harlequin reprints, and then these. I mean, I know that's terrible because it's like going backwards between, you know, all of them, but yeah. Yay. Woo. And also when I try to do these live streams, I try to take literally everything off of Wi-Fi except for the computer I'm using. So. <laughs> Both up here. Bianca's oh. back, and you're going. You're working from your laptop. Honestly, I think it's. I think it's the app on the phone because I was having issues watching India's live stream too. So uh -huh. it could be if you're on your phone on the app, that might be the reason. Oh, you just got yours today! I'm yay! So <laughs> well, yay! <laughs> so, so freaking excited. excited! I am so excited. Yeah, because Julie and Lindsay is just fabulous. I, 100%. you know, I'll sing her praises to the end of time, <laughs> honestly. Oh, and I was telling Nicole this uh, before we got started that I both, I both love and hate Lindsay. And that's uh, Julianne. I, I don't know, Julianne Lindsay. And it sounds terrible, but let me tell you. So I love her in the sense that every book that I read from her is so freaking fantastic. But that's also the problem because as soon as I finish a book, 
I literally don't want to read anything else. I'm like, I just want to live <laughs> in this world forever. And it yes. makes me really sad that next week is our the last week with this series because I'm just yes. like, I don't want it to end. I love this world so much. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, so see. You too. It's a it's a negative po positive negative. I love it. I know. It's like I, I literally want to read like her entire backlist. I know. In the past, it uh, is what is it, week? It is. This happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and it yeah. doesn't even include, oh, these are upside down. It doesn't even include <laughs> the fact that I uh, also bought the, because you can't, the, the Christmas tree ones are so hard to find. So I finally was like on Amazon and I saw enough of them where I was like, you know what? I'm going to start buying these because they're a precious commodity and nobody's going to want to get rid of them. The audiobook covers are adorable. I yeah, love them so much. I feel the same. Can we yeah. pick another one of her series? Yes, 100%. of course we can. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Like, that's not, you don't have to convince us. It's no, it's a done. It's a, it's a the question deal. that we have to ask ourselves though is: Do we want to read this series first, or do we want to read this series first? Ooh. Because this series, I think we decided that we're doing this one in December. Uh, were we serious? Was that December? Or was that November? Oh I gosh, no, the Christmas tree one is December. This Christmas one was November. Tree. Yes, 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 yes. You are correct. I mean, let's just read them all. Let's and do can it. we just can we put like multiple books in a week? Because I like it is physically <laughs> difficult for me to like stop <laughs> reading. I wanted so bad to start Cat Got Your Crown today. I was like, Ooh. oh my god, I know. I wanted to start. I'm just like, ah, no, gotta wait, gotta wait. Let's pick them now so I can buy them. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we could totally do that. So, so for um, October. <laughs> yeah, October. <laughs> should I should I put these down below and we'll do left or right hand? We'll let uh oh. It's gonna be whoever picks it first. Or do we do a number? Nope. First we have to do okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is let, too let, difficult. Let's, let's wait for Jen to figure it out. Okay, come on. <laughs> I was gonna say, should we have everyone yeah, pick a number? I was, I was thinking, like, one. we need to do one a week just because not everyone reads, you know, everyone reads at different paces. There's so 250 pages. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think we can all do that. And I okay. think other people want to read other stuff. Don't oh, worry. Fine. All right. I started Monday and finished today. Yeah, exactly. That's what I do. I actually, I started this morning. I started Cat Got Your Secrets this morning. I started last really night. Nice. Love it. Okay, hey, it's Izzy. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happened. So I was going to say, what we could do is have everyone in the comments, Nicole, pick okay. a number one through 100. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, one through 20. I don't know. There's like 15 people here. I don't want them all to pick the same number. So one through 100. Okay. Whoever's closest and without going over is going to pick left or right. And then that will determine the book that we decide. So everyone. Let me write let me write one this through a hundred, pick a number. And also know that whichever one we don't read in um, October, we're probably reading in November <laughs> or afterwards. Ooh, 32 is a good number. That's a slow, uh, do you mean a slow reader, Shannon? Everybody reads at different speeds. Everybody does. Okay, we got 32. Although these ones I'm gonna have to physically read, so I will need more time. So a week, that's good. I mean, I can. <laughs> I can read fast, but at the same time, I'm just like, oh. Ooh, 56. Ooh, 66. Okay, okay. Eight. There Eight. you go, Kim. <laughs> I would lowball it myself. <laughs> I would lowball. Actually, I'd probably pick 44 if I'm if I'm actually being honest. 13. Jaysha, 13. Yes, we slow here. <laughs> could that be I read? Yeah, if you maybe if you stuck to one, you could finish it. But yeah, if you're constantly going back and forth between five different books, I would say yeah. But I also saw on. Uh, but then you could possibly like read five books and like so quickly though. I think it was Twitter where she said that she finished four books on Tuesday. Mm. Was it Tuesday? Am I right? I feel like a stalker saying that, but I do. <laughs> it's Twitter, so you put it out there for everybody. <laughs> Fifty-four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I read this while I was at work. 10. Okay. Is that everyone? Do we have an, uh, Do we have a lot? Is there? We'll give everyone one more minute. 77. A lot of, they're all over the board. That's good. Good, good uh -huh. variety. People want to be the one to be responsible. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you guys want. I don't care. I'll do it. Four books yeah. on Tuesday. Ba pow Good job. Yeah.
Yeah, I was really proud of myself when I finished a book a day for three days. Um, but that was primarily because they were audiobooks and they were like eight hours. So they were very, very quick. Everybody got their number in? Yeah. I wrote it down. So. Okay, what's the number? I think we did. I think we gave them a full yeah. minute. See, just reading one book, it's hard. All right. 77. 77. Oh my gosh, Bree, you were right on the nose. Right on the okay. nose. Bree, now I'm going to need you to pick left or right. I'm not even looking down at my hands. I don't know which one's in which, and I really hope I pull up the right hand. Let's just be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. 56. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bree, I should say Bree H. Bree H. Oh, Bree yeah, H. that's true. Left or right. <laughs> Yay! There's the delay, so just wait no, for everything fine. to catch up. <laughs> so, how are you doing, Nicole? What have you been reading lately? Maybe you can give me an idea to like pick my next book. Well, Although I, oh, go ahead. I'm I asked sorry. you to say something, and then I tried and, to start talking over you. My bad. <laughs> right? Gosh, she read this in a day too. No, nice. I just like once you start it, you really can't stop. Mm -hmm. I I'm actually buddy reading uh, the Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert uh, with Deja. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then nice. I started. Um, oh my god! I just oh, do you want to start a scandal by Tessa Dare? I started that oh, today. I need to it's do one book Tessa number Dare's. five yeah. in the um, Spindle Code series. Oh, Tessa Dare is great. Yeah, I got her over here because you told me that I need to read her. I have a new bookshelf over right here, so I keep all my important next reads. Is this, this the first one, yeah? Yeah, that's the first one. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry, I, I remember what your name was on my list. I just, uh, balls leap. <laughs> <laughs> Spindle Cove is not, it's so good. I really like Spindle Cove. But I do like um, Girl Meets Duke series, too. That one's great. With a candle on your face. <laughs> We do, buddy, read at least one book a month. Yep. That's sure. wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Brie H., we still need your left or right. <laughs> <laughs> you did win, but now you need more. Now you have homework. <laughs> now you have homework. Left, she says. Left. <laughs> left. Is this one? Ha, ha, ha. Not over. Okay. There we go. So that's the. Uh, point deputy. I think there's uh, only two in this series. That's the, the Garrett Valor series. It is indeedy. So there's right. this one's the first one. This one's the second one. And there's only two, you said? There's only two out right now that I know of. If but she has two honestly, more books coming out. One in September, one in October. And I can't remember if they're both for the Fortress or if they're both for this one. They're both for the Fortress to fit. Got it. Yeah. So what we could do is read these two and then Please do these defense. two. This one... Yes. And then this one. And then so, by the time that we finish that, the third one will have just come out, which if you haven't pre-ordered it, you should definitely do that because let's just say it, you're going to want to read it. And then the fourth one's at the end of October. So after we finish all the other ones, we could start that one in November. And then we could start this one at the <laughs> beginning of December. We could do the Christmas tree one. Oh, <laughs> I got ooh. it all for us, guys. We got it all figured out. What kind of books? Uh, the ones that were just picked, they are part of the Harlequin intrigue line. They're suspense romance. Which, if it's anything like the romance in here, I'm going to be frustrated AF. Because <sighs> I just don't Holy even know where to start. <laughs> in the Fortress Defense series, uh, each book follows a different couple. So at least you have oh. the couple, like, officially gets together <laughs> and wraps up, like, in each book. So Got it. Okay. You were showing them too fast. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. So Gosh, Jen. This is the first one. I think this one I had to go on Amazon because I don't think Harlequin had this one anymore. They might. They'll have the ebook. I know that for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. So that's the first one. And then the second one in that series is this one. Jet secretly plotting. <laughs> you have no idea, guys. I went on, I got an Amazon gift card and things got real, real fast. <laughs> and I've learned my lesson with these books is just that they go away so quickly because people are smart sure. and, and they will buy them up. That's what And they then do. I'm sad because I didn't make the decision to buy them. 
Um, and then, so I, this is the first one in the next one, right? Deadly cover up. That's the first one in the Fortress Defense series. Yeah. This will be mid October. If I could even yeah. spell, my goodness. And then okay. so, at the end of October. Oh, we would act. This would actually work out perfectly. So this one will be off the end of October. No, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. And then Nicole, you have these ones. The next one is going to be the one where they're Sorry. running in the thing. Marked by. The Hold on. I'm just pull typing it. I'm just typing it because it just seems like. Okay, but I got to I got to remember the titles for the other ones. I'm sorry, guys. No, nope, that stuff is all coming. I and then Marine, right away. <laughs> Marine Protector is coming up. Let me see if I can get just a picture of this without having it give you all my crazy information. So that's from Amazon. Hopefully, you can see that. You can't it's see it at all. Out. You gotta no. You gotta lower your brightness on there. Well, I honestly thought this book was going to end differently. Just throwing that out there. Do you mean secrets? That's Marine Protector. Yeah, that comes out the end of, the end of this month. And then the end of October, where did it go? <gasps> Why did it disappear? No. Oh, it's because it doesn't have a date. It's not, it thinks it doesn't have a delivery date, but it does. Don't worry. Dangerous knowledge. Don't you worry. Ta da! We I got them all. 40% off and free shipping for Harlequin, so I'm loading up my car. <laughs> nice. Get <a> girl. <laughs> uh, you, yes, secrets. Okay, you thought this book was going to end differently. How did you think it was going to end? With I would like freaking Jack and Lacey together. I don't know why they're not yet. They had my this favorite, nice. Go ahead. My favorite scene is them where he's just like, I'm not going to run from you anymore. I'm like, finally. <laughs> I think that's when I started screenshotting you, like everything I was writing down. And I was like, yay. And then he's like, I'm going to go ahead and give you everything that you've ever wanted or something along those lines. And I was like, is it the same thing I want? And he's like, here's my, 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 all my evidence. And I was like, that is not what I was looking for. And then she has her line oh of like, oh, I'll have to find it. I can't, I'm not even going to try and be a good rememberer. Let's just remember. Find it. Yeah, and he was—he was like, "I'm gonna just gonna give you what you want." I was like, "I don't think he means sex here," because <laughs> I knew he didn't mean it, but I was being hopeful. That is exactly what my post-it note says. Like, I don't think he means sex in this situation. Oh, yeah. He goes, "All right, let's go." And then she goes, "Where are we going?" I'm gonna skip all the other like extra stuff. So super sorry, and I'm terrible at reading, so I apologize. He goes, "You win. I'm gonna give you one." I'm going to give you what I want. And I was like, could this be what I want too? That was my comment. And then yeah. at the end, it goes, this is everything I have on Wallace's desk. And I was like, well, that's a hard note. <laughs> I, like, um, I wanted to use that desk for something else, sir. Something else. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, I feel like this is a lie on Lacey's part. She goes, so much better than what I thought you might be up to. And I was like, how is this better than the sex oh. with Jack and Oliver? Yeah, I think I her know. evil laugh with, from our from the kiss comment was because like kiss um, freaking chase, kiss freaking chase. Yeah, how could you for do sure. it to? And then she tells Jack about it. I was like, "What are you doing? You're not supposed to say the words." I think the chase kiss was to throw us off. No, it came. It came See? true. And then really she nervous. told him. She told him about it. Like she didn't. Like she told him immediately, which was so funny. She's like, "I kiss Chase." And then he's like, okay, so you kissed him last week? He's like, no, I kissed him yesterday. <laughs> so you can't I do that? I was dying laughing. I was like, Lacey. <laughs> well, She's an she overshare. <laughs> she is an overshare. At least she told him, right? Oh, my God, I was dying laughing. I was, I mean, it's better than him actually witnessing it because then she has a chance to explain it. And he gave her Mary. the chance to explain it. So I was so happy about that because so often in novels, like, they don't communicate. And then it's all the issues. <laughs> they were they were communicating very good oh, i know okay i didn't like that i didn't like that at all i'm gonna say that she was one of my suspects too because as soon as she started liking chase i was just like first of all she's probably gonna see something with chase and lacy and then she's gonna be like super jealous and try and kill her and then that didn't happen so yep. i went far but i was wrong 100 <laughs> percent yeah like yeah no kiss with jack hopefully we'll get it in the in this last book come on 
I need <laughs> Otherwise, it. Otherwise, click and play books. Hashtag need more kitty couture. <laughs> yes. Okay. We got to make this a thing. Everybody watching. Need, hashtag need, need more kitty. kitty couture. Yeah. And then also um, tag Crooked Lane Books. And honestly, I... I like I need it. say something. I say something every day, either on Instagram or Twitter, <laughs> and I seriously think that Crooked Lane Books is going to block, block us. <laughs> They're going to block me. <laughs> That's true. It does make it less difficult for her, like to be like kind of hemming and hawing between uh, Chase and Jack. Now it's just I like, okay, well, Chase is with another girl, which is super weird. She's really weird. I was very. I didn't like her too, at all because at the beginning it made it sound like sh her and Chase were like legit together for a while, and I was like, hundred percent. Hmm. No, that that can't happen. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole the whole time when um like when he was telling his backstory and that's devastating. Jack's backstory where he was oh, yeah. like his fiance was driving, she fell asleep at the wheel, car accident, she dies, and he didn't even know she was pregnant at the time. She he had to find out later because he found yes. the pregnancy test. I'm just like, oh my. God. That was heart wrenching. I was like, I need to put the book down for a moment and like I did. recover. <laughs> I had to put the book down. I was like, that is terrible. Yeah. I just wanted to hug him. I, I thought mean. it was Claudia when she made the Robin Hood comment. Picking it up, picking it up. I totally thought it was the daughter just because she acted very cold and aloof. But you know, it's like I I'm just like, you know, I can't. I don't know. The t oh, and then her therapist, too, when she's like, oh, my gosh, the therapist knows everyone's secret. I was like, oh, my God, the therapist does know. That's so smart. And then I was like, okay, if she thinks it's the therapist and I think it's the therapist, and it's definitely not the therapist. Exactly. <laughs> and honestly, like, I missed that, too, Shannon. Don't even, like, I was just like, okay, Robin Hood. Nobody even reminds me of Robin Hood. Like, Not <laughs> even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> made me tear up that got me yeah, yeah oh my gosh wounded wounded man i just want to cuddle him i want to cuddle him and give him kisses and 100 percent. whatever gets him away from lacy like as much as i don't like is it kinsley yes. is that her name kinsley i always want to call her kingsley Kin but i know that that's I wrong i think it's kinley kinley oh man kinley. i already got it wrong i didn't make a list today guys i'm sorry i, I didn't see the love list child list. coming it was so funny that they actually thought that Kinley was the mistress and not the daughter, which, you know, I think is hilarious. It's disturbing when you find out that it was real. Uh, yeah, the therapist would be too obvious for sure. Definite red hair yeah, in but there. It was like halfway through the book that we were like legit introduced to the therapist, which is why I was like, maybe. She said there was that no, she. No, it's not. It wasn't really like. I didn't. Really, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it through the page, like reading it. But I honestly, did. like I was concerned. Jack, it, Jack, I was concerned. I wasn't <laughs> feeling like steamy. That's what I. I wasn't feeling any chemistry. But you just didn't. when like Jack and Lacey just talk, I'm just like, uh, yeah, I feel. Did you it. read the same chapter? She was like swooning. She's like, I, my my toes still haven't uncurled after she okay, kissed you Chase, can and I was like, come that, on, though. it should did too. Don't make me find the page. I will show. I you. I know she <laughs> did. I'm just saying, like she. Can say that though, but I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll allow that then. <laughs> what? Why was Lacey talking to Chase about the case at all? I mean, Case Chase was the family lawyer for the victim. Yeah, definitely conflict of interest. That's why he tried to keep quiet as much as he could. No chemistry. Yep, no chemistry. <laughs> Jack just, but Jack just has to look at Lacey, and I'm like swooning yeah. over here. Yes, I agree. Christine is <laughs> the mistress. <laughs> Maybe I didn't want to feel it. That's exactly how I'm feeling. I'm like, no, you're not allowed to be with him. I think no. I think that's why I felt it so much is because I was so concerned. I was like, come on, Lacey, you need to be with Jack. Like, don't don't do this with Chase. At yeah. least Chase didn't tattle to Jack this time. That's true. True. There was a point though when she was planning something with her dad, and I was like, can you pull a Chase and then just like tell okay. her to Jack? <laughs> um, Lacey's dad is the cutest, sweetest yeah. thing, and he can do no wrong and deserves all the happiness in the world. I thought it was so cute when Chase was like, your dad taught me how to drive, and like, because yeah. Chase's dad was like, gone all the time, and then he came over like every Sunday, and they had tacos, and they learned how to drive. I'm like, your dad is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't kill anybody! <laughs> Well, and then when he came in, like looking all glum that morning, I was just going, "Okay, I know I don't, I don't think that he would do it, 
but there's a lot of sadness here right now. And now I'm concerned that maybe I don't know the dad as well as I thought I did. <laughs> I never doubt, I never doubted him for a second. Never, never at all. Yeah. I mean, I was in hardcore denial about Chase and Lacey, but I'm glad that he decided to. And you know, it's like, Lacey said something at the end when she real or when Chase told her that they um him and Kinley were dating. Um, that's like he hasn't dated anyone since he's been back and he wants to get back out there. And I was just like, that and that's the kind of man that you want to be with? Like, seriously? Like, come on. I wouldn't survive it without it. Oh yes. I wouldn't survive without a dwarf and a deuce coma at Lacey about the kiss for sure. Chemistry. I'm just in denial. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The driving, yes. I just honestly, I didn't feel anything for Chase. I just felt it all for Lacey's dad. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> oh, thanks, oh, yay. <laughs> I know it's kind of like we're talking spoilers about this book. So it's like maybe you do want to read it because the series is yeah, great. Too. You got to read the Kitty Couture series. Oh, so good. And then hashtag every time you read the book, hashtag need more Kitty Couture. Need at more. Crooked Lane Books. <laughs> <laughs> and then at us and we'll share it to everybody. Yes. <laughs> if there's another kiss, do you mean like in this book or um, in the next book? Yeah. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I need there to be a kiss between her and Jack because we still I'll haven't have gotten that after three books. And I'm very sad. Although she did talk about seeing him in his swimming trunks and I was very happy about that. Bianca, you got it. You know, it was kind of like, okay, they're getting closer. They're talking about it, like, and they've also known each other for so long. They've known each other. They have that history. And I'm just like, mm. and she said it right too. She's like, what if, you know, we get together and then we break up and then we ruin our friendship. And like, I'm never not going to see you again because my best friend is like married to your brother. Like, come on. <laughs> I was very concerned that he kept being like, oh, you don't want to marry me yet. And he always used the yet thing. And I was like, don't, don't, don't Julianne Lindsay. I'm looking at you, <laughs> please no. I, <laughs> I was just like, come on, yes, Izzy, <laughs> read it or listen. <laughs> yeah, I'm like okay, it's so like you don't want to. The narrator is so good, Izzy. The narrator is so good. Um, when she was like, oh, we'll get married, but feel free to sow your wild oats until then. I'm just like, you're such a God. I hate yeah. you so much. Just Stay away from Lacey. Just put Lacey in a box on the oh, shelf. Yeah, he did want a redo. He kept talking about wanting a redo because he was just yeah. like, I wasn't, it wasn't my oh, age. I'm just like, I'm pretty stupid. sure your best is still not as good as Jack in a uh, well tailored suit. Just saying. That is a hundred percent. Is she ending at book four? Um, um, it, it kind of technically not, there's no not. more there's <laughs> no more books in the series after book four, but that's why we're trying to get Crooked Lane to um, pick it back up, or like really any publisher, like it doesn't have sure, to be Crooked Lane, sure. it could be somebody else. But uh, like so that's why you got it when you post on Instagram or Twitter when you're reading these books, you got to use the hashtag Need More Kitty Couture, and then you got to at Crooked Lane Books. So do that. Which I really ask though, no. Julia Lindsay. Do you have enough to continue with this series? I mean, I'm I'm hoping that we're not just being like, need more kitty couture, and you kind of just ended it in a nice way. We haven't gotten there. Um, uh, or honestly, because Shannon, uh, she wants the spinoffs for Henry. Maybe yep. like you know, we'll do the spinoffs for Henry with another yep. publishing company, and then but we'll also see Lacey and Jack living their happily ever after. I'm okay with that too. But I just, I was like, oh, we probably should make sure that there's content there before. <laughs> I'm sure there will be, but. And said, so what about the whole thing about Lacey talking about Chase being comfortable enough to answer the door and fix food in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. that, that it was odd Chase did, but did it, but she felt like she couldn't. Do you mean couldn't at Jax? Or, um, yeah, that was, yeah, it was maybe because she felt like she, you know, since she knew Chase for so long that they had, um, that they had that kind of rep, like rapport and they could do that with each other, but she Can felt I like maybe say? she didn't. That when she was about ready to cook for him, I wanted to like text you so bad, being like, "Oh my gosh, can we have an right aftermath now. moment here?" <laughs> oh yeah, with the mates. Where the mates, like if the woman cooks for the man and the man accepts the food, like that means that they're together forever. And I was just like, "Come on, cook for oh, him!" <laughs> and then she didn't, so I was like, "Well, I can't text you this, but I'll mention it." <laughs> oh, this book was your favorite. You, I remember you did tell me that. You did tell me that, Deja, and um. Favorite so far. My favorite oh, so gosh. far. Huh. 
You know, I got to say, like, so far, I, I really like this one, too. I yeah. really do like this one. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe the second one, but that was more because the cat on the Roomba, that's the first time that we got him yeah. on, on spot. <laughs> right, exactly. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I love the power button too. Just trying to go after the power he button. Was trying so to awesome. paw at the power button. Be like, Shannon, move, you, move. you are right. There was no Henry sightings in this book, which was I was sad. looking for him too. I was in <laughs> his Camaro, and I was just like, yes, get <laughs> it. <laughs> there need to be more Kitty Couture. I believe she said she had more ideas for Lizzie. Oh, yes. yay! <laughs> and also, she did talk about having um um uh, uh like a mention in the other series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. <laughs> what hashtag do you want me to? Okay, let me. Um, let hashtag me need more kitty couture. Kitty. Yeah, put it in there, Nicole. Come on. I'm doing we need it. To make this happen. <laughs> more kitty couture. She felt comfortable enough to do it at Jack's. Yeah, I feel like she should have just cooked a dang dinner. But then he made pizza. She was making grilled cheese. The pizza he made sounded delightful, by the way. It made me really oh, yeah. want the, the pizza that they had. <laughs> I thought she wasn't super comfortable at Chase at that oh okay yeah mm, you're right okay, yeah. Okay. julian Lizzie! yay <laughs> i love this world too <laughs> i yeah <laughs> in a minute so yeah everybody <laughs> needs to do their part hashtag need more, need more kitty couture. couture let's happen it i can't say words anymore <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy book three, but it did have bittersweet moments. Yes, for sure. Book it kind of like it was a little bit darker just because um just because of like, you know, the moment with Jack telling telling us his backstory and stuff. I was like, that's a little dark. Yeah. A little dark. Yeah. But I like it. I you know, it's you know, I don't like that that happened to him, but I like that we get like a deeper inside look at the man that is Jack. Yeah. I like that he opened up to her too. It's just like, oh, they're taking steps forward. Hopefully there's a kiss in the next book. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Shannon's favorite book is book number two because of Henry. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I didn't Let's read book one. one. Mm -hmm. Must go back. Yes. To okay. Okay. The All right. yeah, yeah. this one. Yeah, need more kitty couture. I was like, that's you. <laughs> it is me. I was just letting everybody know. Or PM me on Insta right now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think it's because I feel like there was more romance in this book. Yes. Oh, I also yeah. like her relationship development with her mom. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Her mom is getting a whole lot better. Her mom is getting better. <gasps> Deja, you don't like cats? How? How? <laughs> Nicole, don't say anything. I know that you're more of a dog person than me. You're allergic to cats. That's the only reason I'll let you get away with it. <laughs> why? <laughs> Julia Lindsay, why did she kiss Chase? Why would you do that to us? We need answers. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, ugly crying. <laughs> I know. When Yeah, when he said that he wanted a redo, I was just like, no, there can't be a redo. Because I just, you had the one, that's all you get. <laughs> that's all you get. Sorry you didn't do your best, but that's all you got. I know, like, you, you know us, how we feel about the dark, Deja. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I also yeah. really love the relationship with the mom in this one. Yes, I feel like her mom was a lot better and more present. And yes, also that yes. little scene where they were in danger, like, yeah. at the end. I really feel like that can um, really, like, solidify the relationship. Because, honestly, like, she probably, like, Lacey felt like she was being suffocated by her mom. That's why she left mm -hmm. in the first place, just to yeah. go on and do her own and break free. And, like, her mom, obviously, you know, like, that's her mom, you know, so it's, Mom felt, you know, bad and she was sad that she wasn't involved in almost nearly, you know, how many oh, years right. of her yeah. life. So the fact that, you know, that she's back and she, Lacey is really trying hard with her mom and then her mom is really trying hard with Lacey as well. I like that they became like friends at the end. I was like, oh, yes. yay. Like, I'm happy she for even you said, like, She even said, like, yes, that's my mom, but she's also my friend. Well, and then at one point, too, she also started, I feel like she started shipping Jack and Lacey as well. And at that yeah. point, I was just like, I don't care what you say to Lacey at this point. I think I'm a fan of you now. Now that you're on my ship, I'm okay. <laughs> when her mom was just like, oh, like, there's a fox. And then, you know, she didn't know, yes. like, Jack was, like, right behind her. And it's like, oh, you look all, you look sharp. And she's like, as I said, a, like fox. a fox. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was like, yay, yes, mom, mom was on our side. <laughs> yes, mom. Yeah, and the fact that she wants, you know, she wants Lacey to make her a dress, you know, and it's like, she's, cool. it's like her mom is taking that step, like, towards her passion, even though, like, yeah, she wanted different things for Lacey in her life, but she's making the move and she's taking the step to, you know, get closer to her daughter, and I really feel like she worked a lot in this book to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't really a fan of her mom in the last couple books, because she was yeah. just... 
too upper class being like, I need you to be on this level with me. And I'm like, but she's down here and that she's happy with that. So you need to like accept her for how she is. <laughs> yep, for sure. The Fox comment was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Stalker. I really, you know, you know, I really wish that Hallmark would just pick up like these yeah. books and do like a show or a movie, you know, for just all of them because I would I need I need to see Lacey and Jack. Let's I need just to see up at a level and let's have HBO do it and then we can get the <laughs> things that we really want. I'm sorry. We, we all are it. thinking it. We need it X rated. <laughs> we need that stuff on page. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, yes. All yes. the branch. Yes, uh -huh. for sure. Yes. Oh my gosh, who would they cast? Okay, if this ever happened, we have to cast Stephen and Mel. Like, let's just make that happen because that would make all of our dreams come true. That would, or if they yeah. pick up Seaside Cafe and then Grady would be Stephen and Mel. Like, at this point, now that I know that she really loves um, the arrow and that's kind of the yes. inspiration, I'm just like, if he's not chosen, I will riot. <laughs> <laughs> they did say it in my book today. So. <laughs> Just talking about and like, hey, <laughs> thanks. Now that arrow is done, Stephen Amell. Yeah, I would really, honestly, um, yeah, I would like, I would like that either in this series or in the Seaside Cafe mystery series because. Oh yeah. <gasps> Who would you cast as Lacey? Lacey. Now let's do it. Yeah. Well, blonde hair, blue eyes. <gasps> Wait, what color eyes does the Palmer lady have? The what? What are you talking about? Discovery Witches. You love her. Oh, uh, she has blue eyes, I think. I think is that'll it, work. Is it Christina Palmer? No, Teresa Palmer. Teresa, dang it. Um, I could I would live with that. I could live with that. I like it. Stephen Amell and Teresa Palmer. Let's do it. <laughs> Hallmark, if you're watching, or HBO. <laughs> Netflix, ABC, Fox, any of you guys. I have a, I have another um, at to include, at Hallmark, at HBO. Uh, <laughs> I need this Pick here. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was talking to Nicole, we were out book shopping the other day, and I was like, oh, my God, if we could get Taylor Swift to like this and mass blow it up because she likes cats, I think we could give her millions of followers, and then this could actually happen. So maybe we need to start adding Taylor Swift. You like the rugged, tall, dark hair, blue eyes, kind of scruffy. Oh, so you like yeah. Colin O'Donohue. Oh, yes, yeah. Do. I love Colin O'Donohue as well. <laughs> yep. A bidding war. Oh, yeah. Don't yell at me, but I'm not an Amel fan. Ah! <laughs> Bianca. <laughs> no. <laughs> you almost went in timeout, Bianca. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Just say something nice about Style Stolinski. Although, if you say something negative about Style Stolinski, I think we are going to have to put you We're going to put you on time out. We're going to put you on <laughs> Oh, no. Does she need to see a casting. picture? Let's get to Pinterest. Oh, Wait sure. for it. Yes. Colin O'Donohue. If you've Wait. ever watched Once Upon a Time, he played Captain Hook. Yes. Let's find him. Colin. Oh, oh it's the first one. I must have Googled him before. Of course. I mm. must have Googled him before. I must have. I don't know. Here we go. Here's a good one of them. This isn't from, um, this is from Captain Hook or Once yeah. Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Yes. Captain Hook. Yes. Hook. He is. God. It's just, uh, that's who I thought of when reading the Seaside Cafe mystery series because Everly, the main female protagonist in that book, her name is, her last name is Swan. So whenever Grady calls her Swan, I just think of Captain Hook talking to Emma <laughs> from once upon yeah. a time and I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> and then in case you were asking who I that is and you were talking way. about Dylan O'Brien, that's Dylan O'Brien. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just got way too excited getting hot. It is. I'm also laying on a, not laying, but reclining on a heating pad because I hurt my back, y'all. I hurt my back. Oh, so. are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm, you I'm good. Right, but. I yeah, just right. some muscle spasms. Um, and I got this. It was supposed to be a really good uh, muscle relaxer that was supposed to knock me out, but it didn't. Uh -oh. Barely took the edge off my pain. So what did I do? I, I treat it like any adult would, and I just took it with alcohol today. So oh, this, is no. how we're, this is what we're doing today. So, Not yeah. children. Don't listen to Nicole. Follow the pill bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Hook was my, my all-time favorite as well. Yes. <laughs> like i'm sorry when you know your muscle relaxers don't work when you take them with water you 
take them with alcohol. That's really how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't think I've ever experienced that knock on wood. <laughs> Colin can play Jack. Colin could play Jack. We just got to um, get this on screen. We got to get this on screen. Interesting choice for Dylan O'Brien pick. I mean, whenever he's a uh, psychopath, he's the most attractive. Although, the other picture I was debating between, which Jen doesn't Jen really, really show his likes face. Boyd Styles. Jen Jen really likes Boyd Styles. Boyd Styles. And this picture of his bicep right there. <laughs> <laughs> Reason why we never saw Styles when he shirtless was he was too ripped for the nerd role who that he played. You, who would you cast as Chase? I don't care. <laughs> I was like, I don't even remember the description of him. I try to forget oh about God. him as often as I can. <laughs> I'm not like I'm like the worst with descriptions, but I just remember it for um, okay, let's for do, like, Lacey a because it just said like the mister like the guy for the mistress. He likes blonde hair and blue eyes, and that he's like they just kept looking at Lacey for that. <laughs> yep, like, yep. I don't think Jack is blonde. No, help me I out. I think he had darker hair. That yeah, it is. Good bicep. Yeah. Can I see his face? Not his bicep. Oh, do you need a better picture of him? I'm sorry, friend. Trust me, I have an entire room of my Um, let's find out. He is very tall. Do you mean Chase? No, I think Jack is very tall. He what is he? Six six four? Six two? Six two? Why do I feel like I want to say six two? I don't know. He's Jared Padalecki size. <laughs> Jared Padalecki sized. What? Huh? Um, that's not a good pace. It's too blown out. That's just. I I post a not post. Oh, there's a good one. Here he is. This is just a nice little picture of him. Yeah. Six two. He is six two. Hallelujah. I, I know. Jack has dark dark hair. The beard the double. Yes, double. The high yeah. Stars, which is, I mean, like that's why I was, you know, I think, um, as Bianca saying, like Colin O'Donoghue could work for, uh, Jack. Jace is tall too. He's like a he's a volleyball player. Yes, that's. Let me know that would be a good douche, because that's what Chase is going to end up being. Like if he's going to be portrayed in a movie, they're going to be over the top with him to be like that he's playboy. So pretty. <laughs> and yeah, he's not old enough to play uh, who we are thinking for Jack. So I think I think Colin O'Donoghue would play Jack. I think Teresa Palmer would be Lacey and Chase. Um, maybe Jensen Ackles. I think Jess, Jensen Ackles He's play way Chase. too old. Chase is supposed to be younger than both of them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, Jack is supposed to be 34, 35. She just turned 30, and then Chase he made the 30. comment that he's 28. 28, yes. Jensen Ackles doesn't look old. Doesn't Sorry, look young. <laughs> Not well, in a bad mm, way, just... Uh, it's just I'm because I'm... Does not. <laughs> That's what makes me think of Paul Rudd, but I wouldn't necessarily put Paul Rudd in any of these. But I just saw a meme the other day where it's like he was in Friends and then a picture of him in Ant Man, and it legit looked like the same Most photo. The same. And I was like, "You don't age, son. Not you a don't. bad thing. You just don't age." <laughs> Jen Jensen Ackles does not age. Like honestly, you can watch him like first episode of Supernatural to like the last episode of Supernatural, and he looks exactly the same. <laughs> I can tell Jared. Oh, yeah. Jared, um, yeah, his hair just gets longer. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm trying to think of, like, actors. And my brain is just, like, Poof. That's true. For some or, reason, I think of Miles Teller, but he's not blonde. No. Um, Kingsman, the guy you like so much. Taron Edgerton. Edgerton. Oh, my God. I don't think he's... I don't want him you in don't that think role. <laughs> You don't want him in Manners the Manners make his man. Come on. <laughs> he was he was kind of not really a douche, but he was kind of like, you know, the bad kid in the first Kingsman. First one. And he's young enough. Women like a bit of rough. That's true. That's a line from the first movie, Nicole. Come on. How do you not know this more? Honey, I don't know I that movie you. like you do. You should judge me because I, I judge you. Forth. I know you do because you watch it all the time. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Tom Felton, that would be an option. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream that so loud. <laughs> That's true. That's true, though. He's a good actor. He could pull it off. For sure. Yeah. 
You legit play it rich. Oh, yeah. I'll tell oh, my father yeah. about this. <laughs> 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 my father. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, my gosh. Bianca. Then we could just Thor's brother, Loki, Thor. Tom Hiddleston. Ooh. No, Thor. She, I think she's um, saying um, Liam, Liam Hemsworth. Oh, Liam Hemsworth. My bad. <laughs> she she seems like a boat. Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent, Deja. Thor's brother. <laughs> Perfect. He, but Tom Felton could play like the rich boat boy. You're, you're totally correct. No, <laughs> <Loki's room. laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> you said Thor, and then Thor's brother. My mind immediately went to Marvel. I'm like, maybe I should watch Thor after this. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. That's so funny. Actually, but, I, really yeah. I love how we're just right now. <laughs> I really love how we're just casting this thing. Come I mean, on, if it, Mark, can we get your job for you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it for so you. Back to the book, then. What are your post it notes? Do you have post it notes for this? 100%. Do I have post it notes for this? Huh? It's like you don't even know me. I do know you. Okay. So I'm just going to go through and just see. Um, oh, uh, my first post note is obviously like Jack didn't want to take her dad in for questioning. He's just doing his job like a legit detective. And that he's bothered like, me a bunch. He's like, I'm sorry. And she's like, yeah, so am I. I was like, don't be mad at him. He's just <laughs> doing his job. And he said like 16 <laughs> times too. I was like, you can't be mad at him for doing what he's like, his profession. A hundred percent, Shannon. A hundred percent. And then I didn't like it towards like the middle where she's just like, where he goes <laughs> and asks like, are we going to have that cup of coffee? And he, she goes, you know, as soon as you um, release my father from being a sus suspect. And I'm just going to be like, don't be like that, Lacey. You two need to be together. But he made a good point, though. He made a good point where he's just like, hey, we don't want to let it leak that we're no longer looking at True. the dad. Like we don't we want to give like a false sense of security so they would make mistakes. I'm like, yes, that's because you're a good we can detective. Catch the crazy lady. Yes. Detective and that's it, no. shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> detective. He like pulls out his badge. Detective. Right here. Shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman reference again. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I always think about Batman. <laughs> so <Yes>. funny. <laughs> so funny. And I my second post note was just like a random thought I had in my in my head. It's like when she was talking, um, and he was like, she, she's like, what did I usually do with my hands? Why are they just hanging there when she's talking to Chase? Because he was talking, you know, about um, um, not talking about Jack and his, like, this grandpa yeah. smacker and stuff like that. So I just immediately thought, like, I don't know what to do with my hands. And, like, pictures. Yeah. I thought the same <laughs> thing. I was like, make a gang sign. <laughs> do something. <laughs> gotta let, you gotta let them slip up. They can't be careful all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for new to Swoon on the Twitter, I just posted the poll for a pick for October. The theme is paranormal. Our guest for October is Nicole. Ooh, that's right. That's right. Obviously, because of paranormal. Yep, You're so yep, wonderful. Yep. Yes. If you haven't liked the new to Swoon or followed the new to Swoon on Twitter, you need to. Have to get on top of that. I finally figured some things out about Twitter. Still learning, but we're getting there. New to Swoon. Check it out. Yep, yep. I just thought that was really funny oh i have two post-it notes on one on page, same page on the same page um it was just about the driving uh oh, lacy's yeah. dad teaching J uh, chase to drive and then um the kiss was like and i said no stop it <laughs> <laughs> I, I think said, i said something no. similar on mine <gasps> chris pine sorry i got ahead of myself <laughs> bianca got oh, it well, at the hands line <laughs> oh chris pine oh is he tall? I don't think he's tall, tall, but I feel like he could play a really good. He could play anything. Yeah. Because I'm thinking of the um, This Means War with Tom Hardy and Reese yeah. Witherspoon and him. Mm -hmm. And For sure. he did good in that one. He did good. He did real good. I also like I also just really think of him like in Into the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> he's so freaking funny. <laughs> And then, of course, Jack calls her kitten, and he's and she's like, yeah, and I, I don't like, like it when you call me that. I was like, don't you freaking lie to him. That is a bald-faced <laughs> lie, ma'am. <laughs> or Tom Hardy. 
<laughs> the guy from Fast and Furious isn't tall either, but they make him look tall in the movies. That's true. There's lots and of camera that. angles and tricks that uh, that you can do to make people look taller. The same thing they do with Robert Paul Walker, Downey. He's he's no longer with us. I know. She was saying that they he made they made him look tall in the movies. Got it. I see what you're saying. And or Tom Hardy. I would <laughs> Tom Hardy in every role. <laughs> Oversharing. Oh, yeah. she does. She, she legit does. Sure. It still makes me think back. I think it was the second one where he got in the car and she was just like straight talking for 10 minutes. He goes, open the door. She goes, well, who's out there? Me. You've been talking <laughs> Me. since I got in the car. <laughs> yes. There was another time too in this book, and actually, I think, tall. where he was, she was doing the same thing where she was talking all of a sudden and then, um. She was just talking. Was, oh, she's talking about like, open the door. Yeah. Indeed, she was yeah. just saying how, like, they, they use camera tricks to make him look tall because they can make anyone look tall. It's I got what you're saying, Bianca. Don't worry about it. I got what you're saying. <laughs> um. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, did anyone suspect the wife at any point just because she was really, like, um, when she was basically drunk, <laughs> when Lacey brought her a <laughs> bottle of Jack Daniels, and it was like, I gave up everything to be his wife, and he had the nerve to cheat on me at his age, shameless. And I was <laughs> like, that's motive. <laughs> I thought, thought motive in that instance, but at the same time, as soon as she said, it's always the wife, I'm just like, ooh, it's not the wife. As soon as, as, soon as my sleuth person starts to suspect someone, it's clearly not him. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to send you an email on stalker behavior. <laughs> Honestly, I just love all their interactions together because they are just so cute. And their banter back and forth is just amazing. I love that. Yes, Fast and Furious. Like, they honestly make that into, like, Fast and Furious 20. I, like, I would watch it. We Never see the lamp before life. time. <laughs> I that's fine. <laughs> Fifty thousand of those. <laughs> Lacey really got some good dirt from it. That's true. She did. She did. She did. She did a lot of sleuthing. Got some really great information that Jack already knew because he's the detective. The <laughs> detective. Shopkeeper. <And laughs> detective. <laughs> detective. <laughs> oh, love it. Shopkeeper. Detective. Kick I out. think my two suspects in here were the therapist, which was like a very short lived thing, but then I was like really gunning for the daughter because she, I just, I couldn't convince myself that she had a ton of motive. Um, That's true. Jack did tell her about the bourbon. Like, hey, she like, did. she was a rodeo cowgirl. Like, you know, she can drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, when they were talking about uh, Lacey and her mom were talking about how she doesn't own pantyhose, she just owns thigh highs. I'm like, Jack would like that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the X-rated version of this book. That's what, that would be HBO picking it up. That would be HBO picking it up. We'd have a when they were talking about going to the high scene. Like, I have no suit. I was like, skinny dip. You're all adults. Let's do yes. this. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Not this type of book, but you know. <laughs> I had no idea who it was. It got pulled in by the tab at the story. I liked how that actually just came together because, like, yes. obviously, Jack was being pulled in too many directions. Mm -hmm. And he was, like, he was not getting en enough sleep. Lacey even saw, like, at dark circles, like, you're not sleeping because he was trying to figure out what happened to his grandpa. And then he was also trying to figure out the case that he's actually on. And I liked how they just kind of, it just merged together. And it's just, like, great, now I can focus without, you know, like, this is actually my case now. So I can look into it without being, you know, like, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob Stark from Game of Thrones for Chase. Ooh. Can I just tell you, as soon as you said that, for whatever re reason, I immediately thought of, um, and I'm going to butcher his name. I think it's Matthew Lewis, Lewis, um, Neville Longbottom. Neville Longbottom. Because in Me Before You, he played the dead boyfriend and he actually That's really true. That's true. Uh, the pantyhose discussion was on. Knees or no knees? Knees or no I love that. And he was just like, he, she's like, when she was talking about how she wears thigh highs, like, are you a part of a cabaret now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Rob Stark as Jack. He can be so intense. He can be yeah, intense. Yeah. Oop. Hubby's, hubby's home. Jen Jen's family secretly watching talking about making the books more x ray <laughs> I mean, it was going to happen one day. <laughs> Mama Joe, are you watching? I'm going to text your mom. <laughs> they I don't have his cell service for that. 
Oh yeah, well, yeah, sure they don't. Sure they don't. Okay, so um, they were talking about how um, what Bianca's comment? Yes. Oh, when she wore his shirt. I was so excited at that moment. I was just like, make this happen, make this be something. And then she was just like, or he he was telling her that she looked really good in that moment. I was like, I'm sure. I'm sure whatever you guys need to do detective wise can wait. If you like, I just thought of like um, the song t-shirt by Thomas Rhett, like just basically saying how the woman looks good in his t-shirt. I'm just like, ah, yes. <laughs> well, she was like, it smells like him too. And I was just like, oh, it smells like him. <laughs> I still can't quite comprehend the Harry Potter characters are adults. Oh, that would be a good chase. <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Um, my next post note is basically saying like, no one had ever disliked me so much that they sought police assistance to keep me away when she got the restraining <laughs> order put against her or almost. And she was like, I was a nice lady. <laughs> Except for you uh, plied her with alcohol uh, and asked her questions about her dead husband while she's <laughs> grieving. <laughs> Rugby. God, wow. yes. I really like soccer. That's and really I'm intense like intense sport. So Them intense. Soccer players, yo. Is it really like nice. football without like pads? <laughs> I think so, Not but Nicole very aggressive. Listen, Deja. Okay, she commented <laughs> on my vlog and she's like, Not the banjo music again. I was like, Yes, the banjo music. <laughs> banjo, I would say, is more folk than country, but that's just me. But I love Mumford and Sons. So, oh my God. I would take that any day. My dogs are barking because. Their dad is home and they're excited. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. That's all right. <gasps> Alex Pfefferfer. I never say his name right, so that's how it goes, guys. <laughs> that's so true because he's he actually be a good one. He's got the he one actually plays there. a dick in some movies, like that in time movie with Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Rugby guys. So <gasps> Those are fighting words, but I'll allow it. <laughs> but I'll allow it. The only thing I don't like about rugby guys is because they get hit so much, they get the little ear what? things. You played rugby? What? Dang. Get it, Shannon. I knew Izzy oh played gosh. rugby. I knew Izzy played rugby. Izzy you guys are Shannon. fierce. So fierce. I don't want to get hit, so I'm I'm out. <laughs> I bruise like a peach. I, br I bruise like a peach. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just another scene where um uh Jack and Lacey are just too cute, too cute with their banter, saying like how Jack wanted her to like stop following um the wife because she almost had a restraining order put against her. And it's like, <laughs> I didn't go looking for information, it fell into my line of sight. What would you have me do? Close my eyes? He's like, Yes. <laughs> That's really uh, cool. In high school? You had that in high school? That's amazing. That's crazy. I can barely walk. You all ever heard talk about playing sports. <laughs> yeah, I can barely walk and breathe at the same time. You're lucky I can talk and sit, so. <laughs> Thank God, because we wouldn't be here. I'm like, I'm thinking it's the alcohol tonight. Some nice little fancy uh, Moscato, oh, yeah. because I can't do wine wine. <laughs> what do you wear with her? He didn't, yes. he didn't oh. go with her. He just like barged in. You're like, I'm here. I'm Lacey's husband. I'm husband. like, yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, fake spouse. Sell it. Sell it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think at that point I wrote something in the book. So I didn't, close. So I didn't close, get my Bianca. little sticky things to be able to figure out where they're at. So I can't actually do this like Nicole. But um, yeah, I definitely made a comment where I was like, can this please happen? Like, I need this. Is this foreshadowing? Please let it be foreshadowing. <laughs> and those pictures, like when she's in the bikini and Jack was looking at it, I was just like, oh my God. He was, was so respectful that. with it. And then Chase so had to go and say his little stuff. He's like, do you still, Chase is like, do you still have this outfit? Because, <laughs> and then Jack was very respectful. It's so funny because the guy I don't want to be respectful is respectful. And the guy I could give like <laughs> two shits about. <laughs> I'm her husband. Uh, can you please not mess with my emotions like that? Like, come on. And then she immediately was just like, can you imagine? And I was like, I have been since book one. Like, why haven't you kissed already? Exactly. Yeah, since even you guys, had, like, a long hug. Since you guys first spoke, I imagined you married and together. So if you can just get on my level, please, <laughs> Lacey. He come suspected on. you as the killer. I was just like, you guys are going to make great babies one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, he suspects you for murder. You guys are so perfect together. <laughs> <laughs> only, only 
definitely in a book written by Julianne oh. Lindsay. <laughs> oh, wait. That is so funny. Because when oh Grady God. did it with Everly, I was just like, I ship you guys hard already. Like, <laughs> oh, I love right. it. I love you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I thought that's what we like, Jack. He's so polite. Yeah, I know, but he could be a little. He could. He could be a little rougher. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna say a, a shirt that my friend got me for Divergent. We would like Amity on the streets and Dauntless in the sheets. No, just okay. saying. Just you guys saying. the Divergent reference. You know what I'm saying. In my head, they are stuck on their honeymoon. Yes, that's what she, <laughs> like present time. Yeah, it's for 100%. Something <laughs> crime on their honeymoon. That would be the greatest. Oh, my gosh. That could be, like, we could combine the Seaside Mysteries and Kitty Couture. So they have to get together for the wedding and the outfits, like we said in the first one. And then mm -hmm. they stay in charm because I like it so much. Although they do talk about the French Quarter a lot. But we're just going to forget that that happened. And we're going to move them to charm. And then they're going to be a, a couple duo solving crime. I like it. <laughs> Jen Jen's like, make it happen. Christmas! Please. Yes. <laughs> Christmas time. That needs to be a book. <laughs> Solving their crime on their honeymoon. Yes. That would be amazing. And it's like, and I can just see it now. Jack would be so exasperated. Like, really, we can't even go on a honeymoon without you finding a dead body. Like, come on. You're like, we're not <laughs> even in New Orleans right I now. <laughs> see it clearly. Julia Lizzie, please. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh, Jack passed out over here. Oh, my cat, out? my chat is Jack Ryan. Um, yeah. But he's like upside down. He's looking adorable. Just so that you're all aware. Um, my next post to note is uh, one of the little furry godmother words of wisdom at the top oh here. God, it's like one that I commented on too. Go for it. I'm sure I did. Don't, don't like sleeping alone? Get a yeah. cat. Or, like, <laughs> or get a Jack. <laughs> Uh, the banter in that book would be awesome. Honestly. Yeah, it would. I was like, you named your cat? No, no she named her cat after, cat after Jack Ryan. <laughs> but I just shorten it for Jack. <laughs> it's just a very... You're going to be like, Jack, rather than Jack Ryan. It's a very happy coincidence. It was. I, honestly, when I first read his name, I was just like, oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> it's I already a kitty couture it. book, and it's got my cat's name in it. It's wonderful. Oh, yep. Yeah. We're going to the. Oh, yeah. The, I'm done running from you. I'm like, yes. I was so excited in that moment. I knew my hopes. I was getting them up for reasons that I shouldn't. But at the same time, I was like, I need the I highlighted a lot. Probably some of the same things I underlined. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was Jack's backstory. Oh, yeah. And then when he's like, you shouldn't be alone tonight. Stay with me. I'm like, yes. A thousand times. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That mirrors my comments very closely. Yes. <laughs> I think you'll find part of book four that will intrigue you as it works best for New Orleans. That's, uh, yeah, because okay, they're, okay, they, okay. you're saying there's a paranormal. The paranormal a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it, uh, Imogene with her ghosts Just in this one. She's, Just don't get caught. I love sure. it. <laughs> I love Imogene. I love Imogene too. She's I really wonderful. I forget that she's sometimes like, like, her mother's age. I see her more grandmotherly for whatever reason. Yeah. yeah. But she's friends with the mom. So I feel like they were like the same age. Although the friend, was it Verda? Who was like a uh -huh. hundred years old? V Vita. Is it, it's Veda. It's Veda. Veda. Um, yeah. I love it when she's like, when she dies, she'll let her family know. <laughs> and I, I like, know. Like, I had to reread that being like, did I get that right? <laughs> She slept on the couch and he slept on the floor. Honestly, oh, like with Scarlet the next day too. One of I my favorite, that. one of my favorite tropes in romance is forced proximity. And like, the, there's only one bed. Like that trope, I freaking love so much. So I'm just like, oh no, there's only one bed. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I found the page where I had my post for earlier on Twitter with the. I really, really like Imogen. Um, my last post to note is when he got her a new set of colored pencils for sketching, and they're the exact same yes! set that she had, but they were all like nubs. I'm like, it's true love. <laughs> yes, that was my last post to note. Yeah, I'll have the little sticky notes next time, so I might be able to follow along with you. 
But yeah, when she was, uh, there was at one point where, I'm sorry, just going through it because I'm trying to find the one that we were talking about, where he's like, you owe me a coffee. And I go, hopefully he pays his debts faster than she does. Because with that kiss for Chase, it took forever. Oh, yeah, that was when I thought that uh, the daughter <laughs> was the killer. Jack and Grady would be partners and Everly and Lacey could work at the cafe. That's so true. <gasps> so true. And, um, like, Lacey could turn her business into an online business. I'm just saying. You two want a room with those pencils? Imogen! Yes! yes. <laughs> I underline that. I know that one. Practical gift that she could use and she would love. I So great. There were so many cute scenes. Deja, you are so right. There were. And I love between so her and much. Jack were just Their so banter beautiful. is just so adorable. I love them. And Deja, just so you know, um, for your poll on New to Swoon, Slave to Sensation and Dark Lover are tied. Which one? What? what? For Deja's poll on New to Swoon. What two books, though? Slave to Sensation. Oh, just kidding. Slave to Sensation is winning at 50%. Uh, I'll it, go vote for that one tied. because I have that one. Slave to Sensation? Yeah, and I think Dark Lover, that's J.R. Ward, right? Yup. I would just want to read the third book and then stop. Oh, that's right. Yep. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, he's like, stay with me. And I was like, woo! There's a lot of, it's all capitalized. <laughs> and then the I next page, it. nothing happened. And I was like, come on, why not? And then Scarlet was shipping them, too. Scarlet's wanting oh, more Scarlet. than she's wanting her and Chase. Oh, yeah. Scarlet 100%. is the absolute best. With four kids, she's got Poppet. She's like, you can't arrest a, a woman with a baby. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I want both Slaved in Sensation and Dark Lover to win because I love those books. Yeah. I have one night with Clark Gable, the one room slash bed trope. But you've yeah, been one. telling me to read this one forever, Slaved to Sensation. I, Everyone go I vote have. for it so we can make this happen. <laughs> so we can make it happen. So then I can read this and Nicole can get off my back for reading. It's going for a week, so it has time to switch. Yeah, for sure. Slaved in Sensation. I mean, those are both really good books. Um, I, I've read, I read all three of the books that are on the poll right now. What's the next so. one that you haven't said? Dark uh, Lover, um, sensation. Heart of Stone by uh, Christine Warren. Oh, I don't know. It is, which is, you know, which is cool because it's a gargoyle romance, which is fun. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not voting for that one. <laughs> That's just my opinion there. You haven't read it, so you don't have an opinion. <laughs> That's you made a list and you even you. admitted oh, yeah, that you made true. some freaky things. <laughs> okay, that that I'm gonna tell you right now, that book didn't even make it on the freaky list book list because um it's not that freaky at all. <laughs> it's just like a shapeshifter romance, only instead of shifting into like an animal, he shifts into a gargoyle. Like <laughs> gargoyle pick. Oh <laughs> <Aww>. gargoyle <laughs> see? Gargoyles need love too. Yes, New to Swoon is on Twitter. I'll have to go after that one. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> all right. So I went over all of my post notes. Is there anything else y'all want to talk about anything? in this book? Did we miss anything? I feel like an hour. That wasn't enough. I know, right? It's yeah. never enough. Let me just tell you. Hashtag me more Kitty Couture. I wish saying it enough. And then saying at Crooked Lane Books would, like, get it to them even more. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just say it. Just speak it into the universe. It'll happen. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Come on, Crooked Lane. <laughs> like, they're not even, like, at the first couple of days they were liking my post. Now they're not even liking my post. I was like, next step is they're going to block me. It's fine, but I won't <laughs> stop. It's fine. <laughs> he bought her pencil. It's the cutest It thing. was the cutest. So cute. And it's like just in time because the, her little pencils were like little nubs. <laughs> and I was like, it's like the perfect gift at the perfect time. It's fate. You should just get married. Get over it. You don't need to be with Chase. Chase ain't even all that. Chase thinks he's all that in a bag of chips, but he's not. <laughs> he's an empty bag of chips that's going to go float away. <laughs> I posted on Insta, but I think I need more hashtags. Hashtag cozy mystery. Hashtag need more kitty couture. Hashtag. I think Julianne Lindsay has her own hashtag. Does she? Yeah. I haven't stopped her enough then. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do all the hashtags. All of them. 
I'm ready for it. I'm really, I'm like, I want next week to get here so that I can read Cat Got Your Crown, but I'm also like not wanting it to get here because I really, like, I'm not even joking. I know I said this earlier, but depression hit hard earlier when I had to think to myself, I have to wait seven days to start the next to book. Start I was like, I don't want to leave this world. And so now I need help figuring out what to read next because if we're reading these Julia and Lindsay books, that was going to be the next thing be like, oh, I'll just pick a Julia and Lindsay book. But now we're all reading them together. So now, now I have nothing, guys. Read Tessa Dare. Oh, that's true. I have that. Read, Never mind. <laughs> read Girl Meets Duke. You'll be... You'll be pleasantly surprised. I really love it. You'll be laughing from page one, dude. I'm serious. Okay. Serious. Is it like on par with uh, the Bromance Book Club? Because I bought those books. I'm super excited for that one coming out at the end of the month. Sometimes I, I like to make my own oh, hashtags. Is. Sometimes I like to make my own hashtags. Make my thing. Tessa gives you the same. Oh, yeah, she does. Okay. All right. She All right. gives you uh, the steam. <laughs> and another on Hoopla, too. Audible is getting rid of their Audible escapes. I know we were talking. Um, Izzy was talking about that on our romance boxer group. Yeah, it's not because it's doing the um, good pick. The plus something. thing. Yeah, but this you is because they're merging. Just included. It's included in your membership, but remember, you could have the Audible Escape without having an Audible membership, and now it's forcing you to get an Audible membership. That's smart. Only use. Which Tessa? Tessa Dare. Tessa I got Dare. it. Don't worry. Uh, the Girl Meets Duke series. The first book is called Steel. Is that the first one? Mm -hmm. I only use Overdrive. Is that because your library doesn't have Hoopla? Oh, Jen, yes. look at that. Look at that. Look at that step back. Gorgeous. I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, all right. I'll read it. <laughs> Girl meets. Wait, didn't Duke. Bianca say that she could only do Overdrive because her she didn't have Hoopla wasn't in her area or was that Deja? Oh gosh. That was like two weeks ago. Was it last week? That's what I asked. I asked if she couldn't use Hoopla because her library doesn't have Hoopla. Her library does not have the hoop. Got it. Doesn't doesn't have the hoop. No. Nope. The hoopla. <laughs> Dang. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. How dare they? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was me two weeks ago. Also me. <laughs> all right, all right. See, I'm, I'm sorry I don't have memory. Hoopla because usually if I can't find it on Overdrive or Libby, I can find it on Hoopla. If I can't find it on either one of those, I could typically find it on Audible Escape. Yep. But yep. honestly, I'm hoopless. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that was really funny, though. That was a good it was. Pun. That was a good pun. <laughs> it was punny. I liked it. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, it's like I found out that you could like I didn't even know you could just pay for the Audible Escape until Jess from our in real life book club told me that. And I'm just like, well, I feel like I was, you know, taken for a ride around the park. Jeez. I always forget to look on Hoopla. And then when I do, I'm just like, look at all the good things on here that I've been wanting to read but haven't. You have Hoopla, but you don't get audiobooks? That's so do rude. you only get graphic novels and ebooks then? Or in movies? Do you get movies and music too? Well, the CW doesn't music. even give her her own TV show, so I'm not sure. That's I'm true. sure Hoopla is just being rude to Sh Shannon all around. Unbelievable. That's true. I can't believe I still can't get over that TV <laughs> shows filmed in Canada, and you can't even get access to it. Like what? That makes zero sense to me. Zero, zero. sense. Zero. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, all right. Anything else y'all want to talk about? We will get you made a sudden movement with your head. What happened? What? You did. You were. You, I thought your crown was falling off. I think I've had enough bobby pins in here that I, it's it's stable enough. It's just it's starting to feel heavy now, and I'm like I kind of just want to like lift it off my head for a few minutes. <laughs> Graphic novels, TVs, music. Okay. I can't read on my phone. Hurts my eyes. You should try yep, getting yep. blue light reduction uh, glasses. Oh, yeah, that do help. So do I. I get migraines very easily. And I work at work, I'm basically staring at a computer all day. So it's like. Don't you have fancy glasses with the filters? I know that mine have them. When I told them I worked on a computer, they have a filter that you can get over yeah, it just to said, help. But it's not the same. Yeah, I said get blue light reducing glasses, which I got on Amazon. Those ones. Thoughts on Kindle? I like get it. one. I'm like, get one. <laughs> Um, but honestly, like if you don't want the Kindle Fire because of like the computer screen issue, you can get the paper white. Paper white. The paper white I've is heard cool. a lot of people really like the paper white. 
it just doesn't do as much, but that's fine. It's a really good substitute. And then it's what like about RB Digital? It's an audio service that's connected to somebody. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Hold on. Let me write it down. <laughs> With my Julia and Lindsay pen. Um, RB Digital. Digital. Okay. Oh, she does have blue light glasses. Okay. I have paper work. white or Oasis? I don't know what the difference is. I know that Oasis is like super expensive, but paper, and so is, is paper it? white, but I do like it. I have a Kindle. It's right here. It's a paper white. glasses work really well. Doesn't some, doesn't one of them have a soft yellow backlight? Uh, uh, I think that's the Oasis. That's the. Because that's, look, that's, thing. is that the paper white? That's a paper white. And this is a small one. one. So it's like, like whole library. Nice. Which is great for travel. Lightweight, for sure. lasts forever. I have a fi I have a Kindle Fire too, but I also one without backlighting, which is lighter and good. But also, although it's only for reading books, no other. Yeah, stuff. yeah. the the uh, the Fire is nice, like because I have apps to watch movies, so like I can have it kind of sitting up at when I'm at work and I'm not actually taking phone calls. I can watch movies while I do other things. My reading light has a soft yellow backlight option, and it's, oh, that's mm. cool. It's not as straining on your eyes. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Seven generation, no light at all. I have, yeah. like, the original <laughs> Nook that came out from Barnes & Noble. <laughs> it still works. Uh, like, But I, like, I uh, turned the, um, I basically, like, created a back door on my Kindle Fire, and I could download the Nook app, so I don't even have to use my <laughs> Nook for, to read my Barnes nice. & Noble ebooks. I only want it for books. So yeah, and then the, yeah, the paper white would be a good option for you then. Yeah. I don't know what the difference between the paper white and the oasis is. I know Charles, because I saw him on a uh, face Instagram, Instagram. He had gotten he got the oasis, oasis. Recently, yeah. recently. And I know that uh, my friend Vera, she has the oasis and she loves it. Um, I think it's just a bigger um, tablet. So I, it's, I oh. think, preference between the two. But I think the oasis was more expensive. So it just depends. But the Kindle, I mean, my Kindles have lasted for forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and they sure. knock on wood if you treat them well. They will yep. work well for you. It will. It will. Yeah, I think the paper white will probably be your best option there, Bianca. I should probably read some of my paper white books. My Kindle books, I should say. Oh gosh, yeah. I get the yeah. I get the emails like every day that tells you like the Kindle <laughs> book deals and I just go through and buy like buy every free book and I'm like I don't have to do that but I do because I was like hey it's free if I don't like it I didn't spend any money but then I just have to go back and read them like there's <laughs> I'm gonna sell my first Kindle I've had it for nice I think I've had mine for like four or five years too getting... oh, oh yeah you can nice. wait for it um Black Friday they have great Black deals. Black Friday yeah just keep an eye on it for Amazon I feel like they're always having deals on their products so if you put it in like um a wish list. Um, you can kind of keep an eye on it faster and then you can just see when it kind of dips down from where you originally add it and that's always a great way to buy something that you want um, without paying the highest price. You do that too? You get emails for the free books too? <laughs> and, and I'm just like, even if it just looks remotely interesting, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, on Prime Day, you're right. Yep. Yeah, okay. paper whites don't typically go on sale unless if it's like a big thing. Good night, night Bianca. Bianca. See you next week, 6 p.m. for Cat Got Your Crown. Cat Got Your Crown. Crown. I love my crown, you guys. I love it so Me too. Much. I told my husband I'm going to wear this all the time in case he forgets who he's talking to. What do you say to that? <laughs> he, just, he just laughed. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. As soon as I opened the box, because I was expecting it to honestly, I had, again, I had ordered like all of these Julianne book, Lindsay books at once. So I thought like they were coming in a box. And I was like, yay, they're all here. And then I opened it and I was like, it's a crown. I think I got more excited than I have in a long time. <laughs> I, was, I and know. It, it made me feel like such royalty. I was like, look at me. Like, oh I'm my so God. fancy. <laughs> I was like, my favorite author buying me a literal crown and calling me a queen i put her note on my i have like a little push pin board a cork board up here and i just put it in there i'm just like i'm gonna keep this for all of time oh yeah i don't think i put it in my thank you card but i'm gonna have to do that i put my thank you card <laughs> <Deja. on. laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to 
how you don't like it when your husband bosses you around. Listen, Deja. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to go to the urgent care because my doctor didn't have any openings and they're like, they couldn't just send like opiate scripts in without being seen. And, um, so I was, I was boxing Deja. I was like, my husband yelled at me because I'm not going to the urgent care. So guess where I'm at right now? I'm at the urgent care. And she was like, you're going to pretend like you don't like your husband telling you what to do. <laughs> she knows me too well. She knows me too well. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but I did, but then the pills didn't work. So here I am stuck. And then I also got lidocaine patches and that didn't really work either. So even bad alcohol. Too. I have, um, like, yeah, it's just too hot. I feel like sweat dripping down my back. <laughs> like so, It's like so hot still. Did you take that bath with the Epsom salts? I didn't because it's too hot. True. Just but I think I'm going to do it. Free. I think I'm going to do that tonight, though. I'm going to do some Epsom salts in some lavender essential oil, and I'm just going to chillax in there while listening to an audiobook. What audiobook? Now we're just going to chit chat. I mean, <laughs> everyone I, I was listening, asking all the questions. <laughs> I was listening to uh, Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. That's what I was oh, listening to. Oh, that's right. Okay, you did say yeah. that already. Ooh, question for you. So you said Tessa Dare, The Duchess <laughs> Deal. I also have the other one that you told me to read by a different author. Oops, it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> she brings it in all serious, like this one. Oh man, uh, <laughs> Tessa Dare, Tessa Dare. With Tessa this Dare. step back, ba bow, ba bow. My oh, God, I love step backs. I would still read Tessa Dare. Okay, all right. That's. I mean, I love Lisa Kleipas. Do not even get me wrong. I love Lisa Kleipas, but I just like the Ask Tessa for Dare the series. One that I should read next. So I'll. They're A both up bit. there. I probably should also read. I'm just going to show you everything on my bookshelf at this point. This Do one, it. which is the second book in this series, and it was so freaking cute. The first one. Yeah, I need to read that series too. Yeah, Julianne Lindsay, you should do a do a, a cozy in uh, Scotland oh. or Europe. If we have to all take a trip, I think we just discussed this last week. But if we all have to take a trip to Europe for you know some educational purposes. I totally when do Julianne it. Lindsay follows your book club on Twitter. Girl, nice. get it. Get it. <laughs> I love I love it. I love it so much. Julianne Lindsay is amazing. She 100%. is she's the real queen. She's the real queen. Even though she got us crowns, she's the real queen. She's a goddess. Yeah. She's fabulous. <laughs> what did we say? We have to start referring to her as Queen Julianne Lindsay. Queen Julie. Queen Julianne Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've got to put these so back in cool. on my bookshelf in order. Hopefully, I remember. Pretty good about it. <laughs> Pretty good about. I, got I know that's the why. First time. And I hate. I like when my books like just fell off the shelf. That one time, I was like, "Oh man, I got to put these all in order." <laughs> well, I also need to put these ones in order of how we're going to read them. So that this will help me. Oh. Oh, and the good thing is, so Shadow Point uh, Shadow Point Deputy was actually written before the Fortress. I know that they're two separate series, but then that's kind of like a progression. There you go. Between when they were published. Yeah, I haven't read the Garrett Valor series, but I have read The Fortress Defense. So. Super excited. Super, super excited. Yeah, and by the time we get to the Fortress Defense ones, the other two will be out. Because, again, if you haven't pre-ordered them, the third one is coming out at the end of this month, and the fourth one is coming out at the end of next month, and December 29th is Close to Harvard Secrets, which is the fifth one in the Seaside Mystery Series, and I don't know about any other ones coming out between now and then, so someone correct me if there's more. <laughs> I I think that's all you told me about. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Those are all that I've pre-ordered, so I don't know anymore. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Are closely harbored secrets. Me I too. I need them to be together. And the way that the last one ended, I was just like, we're finally there. And then the book ended. We're getting and I was there. Like, no, no, it can't be like books one to two where all of a sudden he just disappears because if that happens, my soul won't handle it. <laughs> That's a lot of books. Yeah, it is. That we're reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or that she's releasing in one year. Didn't you say she's got like she, seven this year? She's released so many books. Honestly, she is, she's just, on a roll. She's a writing machine. I mm -hmm. don't know how she does it. Yeah, tell us your secret. Don't harbor them like this cat. No, no. Cause tell the cat your secrets. secrets we're your, we'll be your cats and your queens. <laughs> yes. So many books. She's like released so many books this year. She's written and submitted so many books this year too. It's like, so I 
2021 is going to be fabulous too because everything she oh, submitted yeah. is going to be coming out. Oh yeah. Well, and then we already know next year she's got the third one in the Christmas tree series. Isn't that what yes. we found out in the first one? Fall 2021. Oh my God. I cannot wait. And then that. book six, was it Lime and Punishment? Did I remember that right? Partners in Lime. Partners in Lime. I was so close. Yes, I cannot. Honestly, I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see the covers that they just. I love the Seaside Mystery cover. I love all the covers. I love the covers. They're so <laughs> cute. What is Louie going to be up to, or Lou? What's Lou going to be doing in this cover? Because he's mm -hmm. in all the covers. He is for he the is. Seaside Mystery series. So different. That is true. I was like, I can it's hardly just... read more than one book at a time. You're writing like seven. How do you do it? I'm not Coffee. Sure. Coffee. But then she also does like get some quiet time when she goes to you know the hotel when I feel know, like that's when she would write though. Like that yeah, would just be like does. I'm gonna sit and write for the whole weekend. That's what she does. She You're goes in during the week because she has three children, and I'm well, sure she needs to get out of there me. and you know just be by herself and the peace and quiet and just focus and <laughs> write you know thirty thousand words in a weekend because she's just amazing. Anything she writes is golden. She can't sure. write a bad book. She can't. <laughs> it's not possible. Not possible. I realize that now. I shouldn't have knocked on wood. There's no jinxing it. There's just no possibility any other way. There's no possibility. <laughs> I can't believe you doubted her. I didn't. It's just I always, you know me, I'm paranoid. I knock on wood for everything. I was like, do I need to be concerned? But no, I do not. You don't need I to be concerned. I can go full force. No anxiety here. I can say with confidence also. Not a bad book ever written. Ever. <laughs> you need to send me a book you've written, girl. <laughs> send her the, so... the assassin one. That one, I didn't know who it was. I was expecting to know, but I didn't. I didn't call it. There's a little plot twist in that one that got you, huh? I needed to know what that switch did, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, that was a plot twist, too. Um, how about when I finish the edits from Jen's beta read, I will send the Assassin's book to you, Deja. How about that? You also have to send me your Pirates one. Don't I get another oh, one? Oh, yeah. I do have to send you the Pirates one. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Give me something to read. <laughs> and then I'm going to need you to do some City of Fan Fiction. That's going to have to be posted Ooh. for everyone here. I was, Pretty I sure was. We all need that. That's what I was doing on Monday. I was writing City of Fan Fiction instead of editing my vlog, as Deja <laughs> will tell you. And then before before the live stream, I was getting ready, and I just another idea for an original whip just came into my head, and so I had to outline it. So that's this is my outline for nice. uh, my next original whip. So that's gonna happen. <laughs> it's a good one. Assassins, yeah, I liked it. Hope you like it because that's. Uh, I'm always, it's so, it's so nerve wracking to send out my work for beta readers because I'm just like, I want you to love it, but I also want you to tear it apart and tell me what's wrong with it <laughs> <laughs> because I want it to be the best it can be. And you can only do that by like, don't just tell me you like it if you don't really like it. Like just right. tell me everything that's wrong with it. It makes me think of film school when they're like, you're going to hand this off to your friends and they're going to have to kill your baby. And it sounds really graphic, but at the same time, it's just like, if you don't tell me how to destroy my child, I'm not going to be able to make it a better child. <laughs> exactly. It's like, I need to make it better. That's the whole point of beta readers is you need to make your work better. And, but it's also, it's very nerve wracking. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. But at least with the Assassins, like, at Deja, by the time you get it, it already have been edited twice. So it should be slightly better than what I originally wrote. <laughs> I mean, it was really good. I liked it. Thank God. I'm not going to lie to you, but I liked it. I already told you that there were dialogue things that I was just like, I feel like. And then you're like, but it was supposed to be like this for a reason. I was like, okay. Just my opinion. <laughs> it's it's my probably opinion. wrong. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go through your stuff. I kind of put a lot of my writing on the back burner, which is an issue. It's a, it's a problem. I need to get I need to get better at it. And is it Nanoramo coming up in November? November, yeah. And I have no idea where I'm gonna write for it. I don't know if I'm gonna write this new, you know, thing that I just outlined like five minutes before the live stream, <laughs> or if I I gotta finish Pirates. I like I'm still on book three of Pirates that I just kind of 
Maybe you just need to take a break from that for a moment, and then by the time you start writing this other one, the pirates will just be like, all the answers occur, and then you just switch midstream, but that's okay as long as you're writing. That's true. That's true. And then, of course... You could write a sentence as long as you're writing. City of Fan Fiction. The City of Fan Fiction I was writing on Monday wasn't even a, one of the ones that I kind of like originally outlined. It was kind of like a new one that just popped in my head. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to write this. And so I have I have that one that I'm working on. Then I have three other outlined for City of Fan Fiction. And then I have, you know, I kind of want to participate in Robo, but you have no ideas. Um, uh, Try looking like on Pinterest. If you go on Pinterest, you know, you can do like writing prompts and they come up with some pretty good ones. If you just kind of want to look and see. I feel like I can't write to save my life. As awesome as it would be to be like, I wrote a book. I don't think I have the ability to do that. Do it. Do it. And then Deja, we could be friends on the NaNoWriMo platform. Do it. Got to be friends on all the platforms. <laughs> all the platforms. Yeah, exactly. You could join Nicole's camp. I don't know how they pick those. Um, that's only for camp NaNoWriMo's. They have a oh, different uh, platform for that. But I don't even think they're doing, like, the camp NaNoWriMo anymore because the the last couple of NaNoWriMo's were just on their new uh, web page. But you, we could still be friends. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I think I do. I do want to finish Pirates, though, because I kind of I want that series done. It wasn't even supposed to be a series. It was supposed to be one. And then this is what happened. <laughs> Well, I this love is what happened. One point two, you're like, I don't know why I didn't hear this guy is like the accent that he had until like book two and a half or something. I was like, what? It was book three. It was literally three, I was okay. writing. I was writing his book. That's the book I'm on right now. I'm writing his book, and the fucker just decides to tell me that he's <laughs> Scottish. So I had to go back and change fucking everything. I'm like, you could tell me you were Scottish in book one, but no, like, it's like he had to tell me in book three. I'm like, that's so stupid. Like rude, Thanks. sir. Guy, his name is Emmett, by the way. Emmett, Emmett, yeah, I like it. He had to tell me he was Scottish, and then I had to go back and change things, and then I had to do all this research on what was happening in Scotland. <laughs> I love Scotland, it's beautiful. We'll go on a trip, don't worry. Okay, I haven't written fiction since high school, other than blog. Mm. Do you like writing? You should totally do it. You should participate in NaNoWriMo too. Yes, I think I'd write a fantasy romance, even though. For short stories, I always write thrillers. Mm. I've read some of Deja's writing for, you know, her school stuff, and it's really good. And I can't believe like one like one of her friends was like, "Oh, it's a six out of 10. I was like, "It's not a six out of ten. It's like a solid eight and a half, nine out of ten. Don't let them bring you down. <laughs> I don't take down names and addresses. We'll go on a road trip. We'll take them out. Blogging's nonfiction. Your character didn't tell you. No, <laughs> he was a jerk. But you know. In his defense, he wasn't the main character in the first two books. He was only like a secondary side character. So it really wasn't about him. But by the time the book, like his book came along, the third book, he was like, I'm going to tell you all about myself. And then I'm like, great, fantastic. Thank you. Shouldn't need that. that like two books ago. That would help me flush you out without having to Fine. go back. <laughs> Fine. Yes to fantasy romance. Yeah, I'm, I love fantasy romance. Do I'm it. I'm a big historical fan romance. Let me just tell you, I there's nothing that I love more than when they're like, oh, and he touched my bare wrist with his, like, finger. And I was like, oh, my God, his finger touched your bare wrist? Like, sit down. The scandal is real. Like, you've been compromised. You've been compromised, <laughs> ma'am. I know. It's like I have totally different yes! expectations when reading historical as opposed to, like, contemporary or paranormal. I love it but so much. And I think on Isle of Sky, such a It thing. is the most beautiful place ever. Just saying. It's not that good. Yes, it was. I read it. It was good. Still not perfect, and I don't know why. I can't place my finger. If you've done any more work on it, I'll go in there and um, I'll I'll look at it again. Bad character. <laughs> like all the research and going back for you know, it's got it's like it's like okay, why would a Scottish man become a pirate in the Caribbean? Um, what happened to him? So I was like, I had to go back and see what happened in Scotland during the time period that this book is in, and so I'm like, okay. This actually fits really good. Something did happen. Something, you know, in history. And I'm like, I can make this work. Makes me think of Outlander when Jamie went to... Um... The scandal is real. <laughs> <laughs> she is all on point with those titles. I still need to make a YouTube, guys. I'm sorry. She Maybe that'll happen tomorrow. Not, she still has not made a YouTube. Hey, Nicole, uh, have you done anything with your TikTok app? <laughs> 
hey, Jen Jen, shut up. <laughs> I have downloaded it, and that is what I said I would do. So. I did download the YouTube app. I will say I I have done that, and I was going to create something, and then it was like, oh. you need to have a Gmail. And I was like, I don't remember my Gmail. I use Hotmail. But um, I am getting uh, – I'll go on my computer when I pay my bills tomorrow, and hopefully I can do that. <laughs> yeah. In between my uh, Kingsman – uh, watchings to honor the what would have been the release of the uh, prequel that is now completed but won't be released until February of 2021. If then. <laughs> if I have to move that event one more time, I'm just going to delete it. No, I won't. But I, I won't want delete to. it. I created that on January 7th of 2019, friends, for a November 2019 release. And then November 2019 got pushed to February 2020. And then February 2020 got pushed to September 2020. And then September 2020 got pushed to February 2021. That's not okay. She's not very okay. upset, guys. She's very upset. I love Kingsman. I know you do. Even though Taron Edgerton is not in this one. I know. How good is it going to be if he's not in it? I mean, it's still, it has Ralph Fiennes. Is it Ralph Fiennes? Is that how you say his name? Fiennes? Rafe. It's Rafe Fiennes. Whatever. I like him. He's in it. It should be good. Made some edits. The only thing I changed all the. Okay. I'll go in there and look at it. I will. I will do it. All right. Anything else y'all want to talk about? Questions, comments, concerns? We will, uh, we'll make the. Um, events. events for the uh, books so you don't have to worry about that oh, I still need to make the one for our September 30th one with Julie and Lindsay oh yes I can't believe you haven't made that yet I sent you the thumbnail like ages ago okay so calm down <laughs> <laughs> calm down <laughs> she doesn't believe in they being a pronoun and then your teacher doesn't believe in they being a pronoun what that's not good so that she's making you change to she and he because, oh, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't nope. like that. All right. Um, okay, so next week, Cat Got Your Crowns. The week after that is a live stream with Julianne Lindsay. So you all know you've got to be there. That's next week. <laughs> she's terrible. Front. No, because she's 73. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell her to get a Twitter and she needs to get with the times. Twitter. Yeah. Yikes is correct, Shannon. Yeah. Um yeah, if it if your grade wouldn't be affected, I would say leave it, but if it is because she's one of those teachers. When have you ever seen sh he and she in an academic essay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yes. we ever announced it here. We did announce it on the Instagram and the Twitter. Um, yes. But she'll be here. Yes, we are doing, uh, when, after we wrap up the Kitty Couture series, we have one more Wednesday, the last Wednesday of the month, the 30th. Julie and Lindsay will be here with us talking to y'all about anything and everything mm -hmm. that she could possibly talk to us about. And <laughs> I'm going to be freaking gonna be out the mess. entire time. I'm going to be freaking I out. Say are we going to start with her on there or are we going to be like yes. cruel and make you like no. <laughs> call her no. mid thing so everyone can see you like emotionally break down? Like I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't say I wanted to embarrass you like that. But also I love you enough to say we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's going to be here as soon as we go live because we cannot be deprived of a single second of Julian Lindsay. <laughs> Plus, you need a moment to compose yourself. It's okay. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're both going to be fangirling for a minute. I'm, I'm going to need something. I don't know if I can do alcohol because I feel like that's going to make me more nervous. I'm going to be drinking alcohol that night. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, got to give the teacher what they want. That is so true. Yeah. That's true. That's why I'm saying, like, if it wouldn't affect your grade, I would say leave it. But you can't because, you know, if she's going to change your grade because of pronoun issues because of her. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. But so yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, very excited and come up with questions because I don't have any. <laughs> I feel like I've asked them all already here. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great night. Fantastic. It's probably gonna go on for a very long time. 
Nicole's like, I'm just never going to end it. We're just going to have we're gonna start a conversation and we're just going to sit here for like 12 hours. <laughs> in, stream in StreamYard, you can stream a live stream for eight hours and, you know, it could happen. <laughs> I'm not saying that I would hold Julie and Lindsay hostage, but I would hold Julie and Lindsay hostage. <laughs> you can't make <laughs> you can't leave the studio. You can't. You can actually, you can leave the studio yourself, actually. So it's <laughs> like... <laughs> She absolutely was just like, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> like, I gotta go, guys. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I'll need a second to compose myself when she comes on to the stream yard. And, you know, I was like, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, but if I ever meet you in real life, it's gonna, you know, it's anything. Like, okay. I think you described that the other day where you just like couldn't say anything. I feel like that'll be true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, Jen, I need you to take over. <laughs> I was like, do I need to be at your house for this one? Like, do we need to be together so I can hold your hand? Do you Moral need that support? support? <laughs> Moral support. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably help me from stop shaking because that's going to be my thing where it's just like, mm. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so freaking fun. It's going to be, <laughs> cannot wait. It's it going to be a blast. We're going to be. I'm probably Super not, I'm not even going to sleep the night before. I'm going to tell you that right now. Just going to be like, <laughs> just laying in bed, just thinking about probably everything that could go wrong. <laughs> hey, you know, we had some technical issues at the beginning of this and it all worked out fine. So you know it's what? Not it's going to be perfectly a-okay. I'm having anxiety about it right now, actually. I know. All of a sudden we started talking about it. I was just like, it's happening two it's weeks happening. from today. Two weeks from today. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. Which will be the day after her third book. I'm going to say it a bunch of times of the Fortress Defense series comes yes. up. I don't know yeah. the name of it very well, but I can see the cover. Marine They're Protector? Marine They're Protector? Marine Protector. Marine Protector. There you go. You're welcome. I try. You are welcome. I knew what day it came out. I, I should get you points did. for that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome all right so anything else y'all want to talk about anything else because we're probably going to uh wrap it up it will be awesome i'm just going to speak that out into the universe it will be awesome It'll be fan freaking tastic it makes me think of that um it's my favorite gif of pretty much all time one of them at least where it's from she's the man and it's, I don't even remember her. I think it's Agnes, possibly. No, it's Eunice. Eunice, yeah. <laughs> and she comes up and I'm so there, it's insane. And I just, every time I see that, I'm like, yeah. So funny. I love that movie so much. <laughs> Marine Protector does have a great cover. It does. Over there. Ow, I'm hurting my back doing that. Don't hurt your back. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad oh gosh yeah that hurt i need to work it i need to work it out they told me to lay on like a tennis ball and i'm just like oh that's really gonna be painful i'm that so excited to do that nice. <laughs> <laughs> all righty um, i think uh, i think we're gonna call it a night everybody thank you so so yes, much for stopping by and chatting with us and loving this series it's you know it's amazing i can't believe we're almost done last book don't make me depressed, okay? I'm already like, I was, le I'll say it a third time, I was legit depressed when I finished this book because I was like, there's only one more and I won't handle it if we can't get Crooked Links or anyone to pick it up for more. I'm actually, I'm so sad that it's going to be over. I'm so sad. I was like, I really hope there's a kiss between <laughs> Jack there and better Lacey. Be. I, sw I swear, <laughs> there better be a kiss between Jack and Lacey or... We're going to have words. <laughs> <laughs> September 30th, have, we're going to have. <laughs> I'm going to have some things answers. to say. <laughs> Good night, night Julie. Good night, Julie. <laughs> Good night, Kim. Thank night, you Kim. so much. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you next week, okay? Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, everyone.